we're going to take a look at the files tab inside ModX Revolution and this is where you will be able to manage and see all of the files the physical files that are stored on your website now depending on the level of permissions and access you have you may or may not see all of the files uh, that relate to ModX itself if you're just a content administrator you, then you probably only have access to the files that relate to content so image files PDFs uh, media files and things like that if you're a super user administrator then you will have access to all of the files including all of the core files that make ModX work so depending on what level of access you have you will see uh, different folders and files now for the editor this user only has access to see the content files and so when I go to the files tab I have a, first of all a, a default directory called files and when I click on the little arrow to open it down uh, you'll notice that I have extra folders called files images and media and it's good to uh, break up your uh, directory structure so that it's easier to find files and it's also uh, better to access them instead of just having one long folder full of files so uh, if I hover over an image uh, it's going to give me a little description about what the image name is now in order to manage these I have a few options. I can actually upload or manage files right from within the files tab. So if I right click on a file I can do a few things with it. I can remove it, rename it and I'll just show you what that looks like. So I just simply give it a new name in here and save it. Uh, I can edit the file if the file is editable. In this case it won't be because it's a PDF but if it was say a, a document that had text then in this location here I would be able to edit the actual file so it's great for editing like CSS files if you just have a, a quick change you want to make or you have an XML file you just want to make a quick change you can go in and actually edit the file right from within the ModX Revolution Manager so that's quite handy another way to manage the files and probably a way that is used uh, a lot is to use the ModX browser and I access the ModX browser by clicking on this little icon right here and that pops up uh, a more advanced window again I can see the tree of files on my left hand side and I can expand these and open them up if I click on a folder on say the images folder then it will actually show me a listing of all of the files that are in that particular folder in this case I only have one so let's say I want to upload some more photos what I simply can do is right click on my images folder and choose upload files and what that does is it gives me another dialog box where I can then add files to be uploaded so I'm going to click on add and it's going to pop up my uh, Windows Explorer or Mac uh, so that you can browse your computer and find the files that you want so I'm going to click on this uh, image right here and you'll notice that it doesn't upload it right away it just simply puts it in as queued for upload so I can add more and let's add a couple more here and so now I have three files waiting to be uploaded so I click the upload button and it's gonna go through and one by one upload these images okay now it says they're all finished uploading I hit close and now I can see these particular images in my ModX browser. If I click on an image, it's going to give me some information on the right hand side. It tells me how large it is, what the name is, and when it was modified. So that's how to upload files into the ModX browser. I can also delete files. I can right click on it and say remove file, or even in the left side, I can right click on it and say remove file. I can again rename the files. I can also create subdirectories so I can create a directory so if I click on images and create a directory and maybe I want to call this banners so now it will create a directory inside the images folder and it gives me another way another place to put these files so now I would just simply go into this particular folder that I've created 
And again, I would right click and choose upload files. The other option is I could click on this little icon right here that says upload files and I would get the same upload files box and let's just uh, upload another image here. Okay, it uploaded pretty quickly and there it is now available in my new banners folder uh, available for use. And so you can you can sort and organize your files, your images, however way you want. And, uh, and it makes it a lot easier for accessing them. So that's a, a simple overview of the ModX browser. Um, there's not a whole lot to it. It just allows you to do some basic manipulation and that's all there is to the files tab. And now if I expand my entire uh, tree, it will show me all of the files in my uh, on my server and again I can do more with it from within this uh, this files tab